go, Tutu. Let's go, let's go. It's kind of quiet out here today. Oh, bike riders. Bike riders, bike riders. Saturday night. Ooh, it's 2.11. It was a little after 1.30. I did a wound change. Or dressing change. And the wounds are looking really good. One's about the size of the, the tip of a pen, a ballpoint pen, and the other one is about as thick as a ballpoint pen. There's very minimal drainage, if not at all, but I still gotta pack it because there's a hole and it can be packed. I'm thinking within the next couple of three days, I thought by the 26th. It would be closed. It would be closed, but I think within the next three days it might be closed. This might be the third car I see on a Saturday night. Are you lonesome tonight? might be able to squeeze through, but I can't. I mean, mm. where are you going to, Ju? Oh, you found a spot. And today it was 57 when we came out, but it felt like 54, so that's what it said. It's kind of chilly. Cool. have some thermal leggings on and a muscle shirt and a sweatshirt and a thick beyond my knee sweater normally there would be all kind of Yik yakking, music, parties. They still been out here congregating because all that trash wasn't here this morning. Nope, nope. They like to congregate there. Number four, or is that five? The shell across the street is still open. It's they got a shell now. It's twenty four hours. It's been pretty quiet. The kids still come out and play, or they throw them out the house <laughs> and make them play. They bring them back in by lunch. Actually, breakfast and lunch, I think the majority of them, except for two families, go to those dist distribution places for the free food and meals. I'm 
It's just really nice to help them. There's a lot of help in Houston if you need it. Here comes another person. Another person. Sure, a lot of baskets lately. Oh, this one's from La Michoacana Meat Market. That's not that far. Come on. They keep saying they were stocking the stores, but... And I see some evidence of it, but... You can hardly tell with the meat. Don't lick that. Don't lick a tire. No, no. No, you can't lick tires. And they definitely don't have any alcohol. I mean, I've got the alcohol wipes. I've got a bunch of those that I'm using to sanitize this equipment. It's just really the medical scissor, uh, tweezers. Got this tweezers. And scissors kit. I have to sanitize it after each use. I think it'll be done within three days. So you get it. God willing. He don't have no more setbacks. His legs are still swollen. But he hasn't broken out with any more blisters on his stomach. So that's a good thing. And I both, we can't wait. This happened on January 19th, and here we are in March. We originally had four weeks, so that meant by March 19th, 20th, you would have been back to work. Nope, 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 nope. You name it, it happened. And you took a lot of pictures along the way, or I did, but. And, uh, it's a lot. You know he don't bite. You know he likes kitties. He's not a threat, huh, Tutu? She's preggers. She's so young and she's got a belly full of babies, huh, Miss Thing? Huh, Miss Thing? Huh? Then my Tutu, he won't do nothing to you. My Tutu's a good boy. Tell her, Tutu. Tell her you like kitties. Oops. Tell her you like kitties. This is his other cat. You be nice to Miss Prakers. Normally he would have tried to fight, but I wouldn't let him fight her. I don't know whose cat she is, but she's Prakers. And she fell out the tree the other day. This big tall tree from way up there I was like oh goodness like 20 feet drop but she hit the top of the roof right there and then fell to the stairs matter of fact her stomach looks different today I wonder if she dropped them Did you have your babies miss thing and put them somewhere safe? I just noticed that her, her stomach looks down. I was hoping she wouldn't miscarry or get sick or get hurt. She rarely lets me touch her. Hey, little girl. stomach does look different. I don't know where she goes sometimes. I 
And the men, the drunk men, <laughs> they're the ones that saved her, or tried to. He was just a little too short, but he did try. All right, streets are dead, Saturday night's dead. But Tutu still gotta go for a walk. All right, Tutu. Everybody stay safe. Wash your hands. Well, they're meeting again. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. She's going to hurt you. She's going to slap you and you'll deserve it because you're all up in her business. Uh-huh. She done told you. Leave her alone. Hey. Come on. Tutu will distract y'all. See, Tutu's a referee. He don't like no fighting. Come on. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Leave her alone and stop following her. Stop being a bully. Stop being a bully. Come on. Let's go, y'all. They already think I'm the lady with the dog and cat. <laughs> and I'm going to be the lady with the dog and cats. Oh. We need to leave her alone. Now, I don't know if he's following me or following her. She's following. I want to know she's following me. She usually just sits down and watches me when I bring Tutu out, but I guess she's getting used to him and starting to trust him somewhat. All right. So I did my wound change, took out some trash. He's still on her. I made her little bed so she could sleep. She likes to sleep on my stairs, so I made her little bed and put some material cloth in there for her to lay down and get all warm. I found this old wool sweater I thought she might like. That wool will train her body heat. Tutu's not going to do nothing to you. Tutu's a good boy. I gotta take that food upstairs. I was feeling, feeding one of the, we call him the bully cat. Go on, go on, go on. But it's really, he's all pissed off because his owners left him and abandoned him. <laughs> and they got him from when he was a kitten. And they moved without them. But they took their lizards. All right. Good night. Let's see if I can get her, everybody to settle down tonight. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Adios, sayonara, arrivederci, cheers, ciao.